remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Delta State Governor Right Honorable Sharif Oborewari says, Completion of all projects his administration inherited from the immediate past government remains top of his priorities. Governor Brewery, who was at different locations in the state last week to inspect ongoing works, said no project initiated by him or his predecessor will be abandoned under his watch as governor, while noting that his administration is committed to sustainable development of the state, regardless of who takes the glory. One of the many promises Right Honorable Sheriff Oboriowori made to Deltons on assuming office is that his administration will continue all projects it inherited from the immediate past government in the state, as well as initiate new ones that will improve the lot of citizens and residents alike. In the past seven months of his government, he has gone ahead to walk his talk with some of the said projects already completed, commissioned and in use. Not taking his foot off the pedal, the governor has opened the year with a series of inspection visits to sites of ongoing projects in the state. Governor Borio worry while at Ika Northeast local government area where he inspected the construction of a storm drainage channel from Owa Alero through Owa Alizomo and Owa Ofie to link Iyama stream reassured deltans of his commitment to the sustainable development of the state. The terrain years are very, yeah, very, very bad, especially during rainy season. So the only way to cure it is to make sure we construct um, the storm drains that will take the water from the villages to the to the stream, and that's what we're, we're doing here. Uh, like government is a continuum. No project will be abandoned. Who continued with the old ones and initiate new ones. He also inspected the Accelerated Agricultural Development Scheme, AADS, at Mbiri Farm Settlement with 30 greenhouses for the cultivation of tomatoes and other vegetables, and the Agro Industrial Park at Abo Gwashi for rice milling in Ika Northeast and Anyochu South local government areas. We have this kind of farm settlement. Not just only here in Ubiri here, in the three territorial district. We are going to support them because there's money available now, about two billion. We work hand in hand with uh, the Ministry of Works to see how we can able to manage this road, either we asphalt, or either we just grade, whichever way we can do to see that we can carry this product outside this place. Meanwhile, Delta State Governor Right Honorable Sheriff Oboriowori has approved 15 hectares of land at the former Delta State School of Marine Technology, Kuala Campus, as a takeoff site for the Federal University of Medical and Health Sciences in Indokwa West local government area of the state. The Commissioner for Lands, Survey and Urban Development, Emamusi Obiode, who made this known to our crew in an exclusive interview, noted that the state is ready and open to state and private investors. In the next one or two weeks, we'll give them the certificate of occupancy for that place. The state is ready to receive more investors, whether it be federal government or private investors. We're open for any developments that will impact positively on the life of Delta's and uh, Nigeria in general. Federal University of Medical and Health Sciences Kwale approved by former President Muhammad Buhari in May 2023 will operate from this site until the construction of its 100 hectares permanent site located at Kwale, Ndokwa West local government area of the state. Inside the Niger Delta, 